When using a TBR free radical analyzer, accurate measurements of an analyte require an accurate calibration. The calibration of nitric oxide, hydrogen peroxide, and hydrogen sulfide sensors is very similar. WPI oxygen and glucose sensors require different methods, which will not be discussed here. Before we begin, make sure you have the appropriate solution and calibration standard required for your sensor. Your sensor must be polarized for the appropriate length of time. Your solution must be prepared as described in the TBR or the sensor manual. Set the stirring speed of your magnetic stirrer fast enough to make an inverted cone, but not so fast that it bubbles or forms a funnel. This demonstration uses an ISO HPO100 hydrogen peroxide microsensor and shows the method used at the WPI labs. After the sensor is polarized, use a pipetter to inject an aliquot of the calibration standard. Let's start with two microliters of one millimolar hydrogen peroxide. Then allow 30 seconds while the lab tracks records the data. We are waiting for the data trace to plateau. Then inject twice the volume of the first aliquot and allow another 30 seconds until you see the data trace plateau again. Continue doubling the injection volume for another three injections, allowing 30 seconds to pass between injections. When you have finished, you should have a data trace with five distinct plateaus. Using the LabTrack software, determine the distance between the baseline reading and the plateau reading for each aliquot. That is the distance between our two red cursor lines. The delta is shown in the upper right corner on the screen. Using Microsoft Excel, generate a linear regression analysis that will display the equation and the R-squared coefficient. To do this, enter the data points we just defined and generate a scatter plot graph. Then select the line and right click. Choose Add Trend Line. The Format Trend Line option appears. Set the Trend Line option as Linear and select the Display Equation on the chart and the Display R Squared Value on the chart checkboxes. After performing this calibration, the sensor is ready for use.